Writing a notebook and learning how to document your team's goals is useful in both FTC and the professional world. That's why I'm making a video series on how to create an award-winning notebook. This video is on outreach. This video is going to cover templates and requirements for writing notebook entries, big events and how they're different from small events, key points and tips, and then a summary at the end. So I'm going to start with entry guides and requirements. First of all, your entry must be written in ink, which means either writing it using a pen or making it digitally and then printing it out. So this is a rule and you will get marked down if it's written in pencil. Also, it's useful to create an entry template to make sure that each entry includes the bare necessities. Templates also keep your notebook consistent, readable, and organized. Ideally, each template should include a date, start and stop time, a title, attendance, daily goal, and an entry summary. For example, here's Steelhead's outreach template. At the top, you can see we have title, date of event, overview, and then goal. And then below it, we have tasks and a quick summary of each task. In the white space beneath, that's the real meat of the entry where we do most of the writing and include the pictures. And then at the very bottom, we have impact, which is the impact that this event had on the community. Here's what the template looks like when it's filled out. You can see we include tasks like getting volunteers and sending up and taking down for this FLL qualifying tournament. And then in the summary, we have more information with some photos. The way we write up our entries are different depending on whether it's a big event or a small event. Big events are things like Steelhead STEM Fair, the STEM Bus, summer camps, local team meetups, etc. These are events that take planning, include lots of people, and have a big impact on the community. When you're writing these entries, you want to answer questions like why? How was it conceived and put into place? How has it changed over time? And what connections helped make it happen? Also, what audience attended this event? And why did you choose to target this group of people? For example, if you go to a college and present to a bunch of engineering students, this might not be the most efficient use of your time, because these students are already totally familiar with robotics. And remember, spread first, not just STEM. FIRST is interested in spreading their program and creating new FIRST teams until they become a global empire. Of course, they like helping people learn about robotics as well, but first and foremost, FIRST is trying to secure their future by spreading their brand. At the end of the entry, write, how did it impact the community? This might be as simple as introducing new people to FIRST Robotics. Here's an example for a filled-in entry for a big outreach event. And we also want to include the work that went into creating this event, like how it was thought out and how our plans were put into action. So this spreadsheet shows different businesses and nonprofits that we contacted about joining the STEM fair. Next are small events, and these are things like FLL team mentoring, visiting a business or company, volunteering at a first event, community service event, open houses, etc. This might be just a one-off, like an event where you attend and just drive your robot around, but it's still important to include it in your notebook. Also make sure to include photos, even if they're boring, because it's good to chronicle the event. At the start, write a short summary of the daily goal and how to achieve it. For this picture, the daily goal might just be connecting elementary school kids with FIRST Robotics. Here's an example of a small outreach event entry. You can see at the top we have the overview and then summary decisions, and then we get into more detail at the bottom. If it's a repeated event, like a volunteering program or mentoring an FLL team, you can create a timetable to stay organized and efficient in the long term. This timetable shows some of the volunteer hours we put into the STEM bus in our community. Here are some details and tips for writing your notebook. First of all, make sure to have a diverse writing team. The judges are told that there's no one rule about having a single team member write the whole notebook. However, it will get you marked down because it shows that you aren't working together. Every team member should write at least one notebook entry. Also, initial and date each entry. Every team member who attended a meeting or event should write their initials on the finished notebook entry. It keeps you held accountable and shows that you care. Don't delete things, even if they fail. This shows growth in the long term. This applies to the entire engineering notebook, but it's just as useful in outreach. So let's say you tried mentoring an FLL team, but the first day you went there, it was a huge mess, and all the kids started crying. Don't delete that entry. Think, how can you fix that problem? Maybe they were crying because you forgot to feed them. Next time, bring them some food and write up a second entry. And don't forget, you're promoting first, not just STEM. That's about everything for outreach entries. Make sure to include everything on the screen right here. And don't forget your goal, which is to promote first.